This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, and verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechach Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechach Kudash, Brak Tum, to use a quanium, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf. You know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, you keep in faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ban Yasha'Allah, and this be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Havi Abashim Al Shai on we must stand up manfully. And remain unmovable in these last days. Okay. Where the Heavenly Father asked this question. I'm going to read it right now. This is the book of um, Psalms 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? And who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's doing that? Well, the Heavenly Father raised them up. Let's get the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, verse 11. And it reads... In that day, this is the days we're in right now, these last days, will I raise up the tabernacle of David, the house of David, the Bayaf, that would die 144,000 men, okay, that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, no more divisions. And I'll raise up his ruins and I'll build it as in the days of old. And back in the ancient world, our men, the men of Israel, were men, okay? There wasn't any simps you see today, all right? These are. Um, these, these, you know, slut chasers. That's all these women are today. They're sluts. They're hoes. They're whores. They're harlots. And these men put them on pedestals and they chase them. Okay? They make the, the woman the center of their world, man. All right? I seen a woman, you know, post that up one day. Oh, if a man don't treat me like um like his life, um my life revolves. Well, she said something like that. Like basically, like she wanted to be the center of this man's world. And she said he's not for her. Okay? Well, well fuck you, slut. All right. These women are hoes, man. So you men out there, be men. All right. What is your purpose? This is your whole duty right here. Let's read it. All right. In these last days in 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass, what should you be doing as an Israelite man, a so-called black man, a so-called Hispanic man, a so-called native and Central Indian man? What should you be doing in these last days, man? Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the true name of God, Yahweh. And we fear him, serve him through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the Royal English calls Jesus, okay? Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's why we're on this earth. That's our purpose. That's what we're chasing. We're chasing Yahweh Bashim Mount Shai, okay? So in these last days, we got to stand up manfully against the workers of iniquity, because in this world, they push nothing but if... Uh, uh, they want to effeminize the man. They push nothing but homosexuality, all right, bestiality, pedophilia, all right, women above the man. They push things out of order. They don't push that divine order that Heavenly Father set up in the book of Corinthians, man. Let's get that right quick, all right? I'll be 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. Nope. That's the third chapter. I always get mixed up. 1 Corinthians 3. No, it's not this one either. Salakia. All right, this is the book of 1 um, Corinthians 11, verse 3. Let's read it. Let's start with verse 1. Be followers of me. Who's, who's speaking right now? Who's writing this letter? The Apostle Paul. He wrote it to the Israelites that was in Corinth, Greece, okay? Be followers of me, even as I also am of Mashiach. Now, I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinance, ordinances as I delivered them to you. Now, you go to the word ordinances, it goes to the things, you know, um, you know, you got to keep it as with equal reverence as you keep the law. Okay, verse three, but I'll have, so that's why the apostle Paul's writings, you know, are commandments of the Lord, man. All right, let's read on verse three, but I'll have you know that the head of every man is Christ, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right? And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. All right, we'd run one time from the top. First Corinthians 11, verse three, but I'll have you to know, I'll have you know that the head of every man is is Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our Lord and our Savior. That's our head. That's our Lord. And the head of the woman is the man. That's the order. 
And the head of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh. So that's the order. You got the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh. You got Yahweh Shai. You got man. Then you got woman. Ultimately, you got the Israelite man, Israelite woman. All the other nations, they come last. But they still got to keep that order as far as the man above the woman. Now, in this society, it pushes everything opposite. Okay? They push a vibration of equality. You know, woman equal to men. You know, is there a balance? Can we, you know, can I lead sometimes and then, then follow? Then you lead, then I follow? No. The men lead, women follow. Point blank, period, man. Okay? And that's thus save your house by Shai. So in these last days in the world that's promoting nothing but, they promote nothing but things contrary to the scriptures, we have to stand manfully for the things that is right. Okay? In the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, not things that's right in our own eyes, things that's right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, things that's right according to the scriptures, according to the book. Okay? So this is what we're commanded to do in these last days and also put off that weak nature, man. All right? Don't be out here uh, moping, ah, oh, damn. You know, I'm at, I'm at the bottom. Understand why you're at the bottom, man. You're at the bottom because of your sins. We have sinned against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Therefore, we became the tail and our enemies became the head. All right? That's why we're so below and that's why they're above right now. But how we turn that around by serving the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, not chasing the bag, not chasing these women, not chasing, you know, Bugattis and mansions and, and fame and fortune. No, we're chasing Yahweh Bashim al Shai. We're serving him to the best of our ability. All right, and the scripture literally say what? He's going to exalt you in due time. Humble yourselves, therefore, on the side of the Most High. So we're in a humbling state right now. Because in this society, they talk about the high-value men being men of wealth and status and so on and so forth. But guess what? The true high-value man is a man of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. A man that's been blessed with wisdom, knowledge, understanding. A man whose name was literally mentioned in the heavens. Okay? Your name, if you're in this truth and this faith, your name was mentioned in the heavens, man. The Heavenly Father send the angel, go wake up my, 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 my servant. Yahweh Shaza, go, go wake up my brother, man. Go wake up my, my brother right there, man. Okay? Because remember, if you're part of the elect, you was with Yahweh Shaza from the beginning. All right? Look at 2nd Edges, the uh, 14th chapter. All right? And we get straight to the point. Verse uh, 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. So get your house in order, which is your body. Get yourself in order and also your house as well. All right, so you get yourself in order first and foremost. It says, and reprove thy people. And that's what we're doing right now, reproving our people, let them know their transgressions. All right, come for such as of them that as be in trouble and now renounce corruption, let go from the mortal thoughts. So mortal thoughts, man, let go from the mortal thoughts, man. Cast off the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Stop being weak, man. All right, stand up manfully for his right. And Isaiah Al-Bashim al shai push these videos, man. Go out there week in and week out. Do this work. All right. Be a man. Chase Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Chase Sophia, which is wisdom. Okay. Don't chase the like I just mentioned it. Don't chase the women of this world. They 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 sluts. They're hoes. They're harlots. Don't put them on pet. Don't put them on pedestals. Okay. You gotta chase Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and don't chase the fame and fortune of this world. That's temporary, man. All right. What the Heavenly Father gonna give you for standing up for Him? You can't even, you can't fathom it, man. For real. It says. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. So you should be fleeing from these times. Meaning what? Detaching from this wicked world. Okay, understanding the times you're in, that oh hell about to break loose, man. And when society collapse, that's when it's gonna be truly known who are the chosen men of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Because everything that they've been saying will come to pass, it will happen, man. All right? The the, the fulfillment of Revelation 13, chapter verse 16, on down to the verse 18. Once they set up them chipping stations and stuff like that, everyone will know, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to all the brothers in different camps that fall under the umbrella of Great Millstone. They can be like, these are the true men of the Lord right here, man. They told us, man. They, they warned us. Okay? And in other prophecies as well. You see that? So when all that comes to pass, man, that's when people will know who are the men of the Lord, man. Also, spiritual powers, angels, all type of things, right? Let's read on. For yet greater evils than those which... Thou hast seen shall ha um seen happen shall be done hereafter. So we approach some evil times, and when these evil times come, we gonna know who the true men of the Lord are. And Lord willing, we're part of that number. So these men, and it's a good thing, you know. Um, I was watching different clips from Fresh and Fit. You know, we got Andrew Tate, we got the Kevin Samuels, we got the whole Red Pill community, so on and so forth. And they 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 give a lot of great points as far as you being a man and understanding your value as a man. But then they go off when it comes to the to the to the status of wealth and this they go off on those things man okay 
but they are right. You put a woman in a place, so on and so forth. But which is a good, it's a good vibration that's going out in the, in America right now, all right, and throughout the world, of course. But in America, men are you know understanding like, we gotta be men because the government started the elites. You know, of course, they set up the, the you know the different puppets and the the musicians and they play low frequencies, eight oh eights, and you know keep your vibe low. And then they they do certain things to keep men out of out of docile state. All right, and also it feminized men. The pants got tighter and tighter as the decades went on, man. If you go back to the early 2000s, jeans was baggy as a motherfucker, man. Then it got tighter and tighter and tighter. And we can't think about the 80s. And when we go out to the 80s, it was a whole androgynous movement going on. Yeah, Prince, Michael Jackson, you know, Boy George and shit like that. What the fuck? So they've been planning this for a long time, but they want to incorporate that into hip hop. Once you saw hip hop come out, it was all, you know, raw. You know what I'm saying? You know, manly in a way. Okay, conscious. They need to now we got infiltrate that, make it about killing and gangster and all of this, and um, we gotta make it demonic. Then also now we gotta feminize hip hop. They they jeans gotta get tighter and tighter. <laughs> so that's how they set up stylists. But that's the point of making through the spirit, not just through music, through all aspects of life, different laws and legislation they passed, the unrighteous decrees. They made it um basically illegal for you to uh uh to really speak out on certain things. Okay, well we, we can speak out on it, but if you act on it, you could do you go to jail for hate crime. All right, stuff like that. But and I'm talking about as far as you know the whole homosexuality agenda goes, the LGBT and all of this, right? This folly. All right, they want men to be women, and they want women to be men. All right, they want things backwards and upside down. They want things satanic. All right, but we understanding this truth, the Lord has blessed us with our manhood back. All right, that's how we move the way we move, man. All right, and and uh, the Lord got us at a humble, low state, and we still understand and know that we're men. All right, and ultimately, Lord willing, hopefully, men of the Lord. All right, if we endure and give diligence, of course. So we, we move different out here in, the, in these in these in these streets, man. All right, in these last days, we moving different on our plantation. You know, going to the supermarket, we just have a different you know vibration towards us because we have the Holy Spirit. All right, we don't out be out here putting women on a pedestal. You know, what I'm saying kissing their ass and their feet, none of that shit, man. <laughs> you know, brothers got women, brothers got wives, man. All right, we put them in a place them all the time because they grew up in this wicked ass society. So they think, you know, uh, it's supposed to be the other, other way around. They think that men is supposed to please them. But no, the woman's supposed to please the man. All right. The woman, soon you come home, she should be rubbing your back. Okay. How was your day? You know, how, you know, I made dinner for you. You know, even if you're not hungry or not, I just made sure I had to make sure dinner was cooked for you. You know, they should be pleasing you, man. Not the other way around. Now, if you find yourself just trying your best to please your woman, you're going off and she gonna end up leaving your ass, man. Okay? Because it's, it's in better in their nature to understand that this was, you know, they supposed to please you, not the other way around. So that's why in this lesson, stand up manfully, man, and be unmovable. Okay? Be unmovable. Be firm in your belief in your Bashi Mal Shai. I did a lot of talking. Let's get some more precepts and I'm um close out. All right? Slaki for um, babbling a little bit. Let's get the book of Isaiah. Let me see right quick. Um, Isaiah 46 and 8, it says, Remember this and shew yourselves, men. Bring it again to mind, O you transgressors. We broke the law. Okay? Transgression of the law. So remember this and shew yourselves, men. Bring it again to mind, O you transgressors, man. Okay? Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh and there is none else. I am the Most High and there is none like me. All right, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient time, the things which are not that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I'll do all my pleasure. So we have to remember the former things of old, man. All right, remember our forefathers, the, you know, the righteous men that served the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah. If you read the scriptures, King David was a mighty man, all right, a man of valor, okay, his mighty men as well. And what did, what did they, they fear the Lord, man? Judas Maccabees, fear Yahweh Bashim al Shah, mighty man. Those are the men that we got to look up to, man. Okay? Don't be saying looking up to fucking um, Kanye West or Jay-Z. All right? Or these... Because these, these dudes are weirdos, man. All right? They satanic. All right? Don't even look up to um the, the red pill men. We look up to the men... In, we look up to Yahweh Bashim al first and foremost. All right? And we read about our forefathers of old, man. They, those are true men. King David, he, he, uh, he put his woman in, in place, man. What happened? Um, let's get the account, man. Just a quick account, then we get some more precepts. Um, 
Let me see here. I know it's in a book. Um, let me just uh, type it in. Ah, damn. I see. I'm forgetting how it goes. So let me just type it in Google. Salakia. I know it's in the, either the book of Kings or Samuel. Um, What's the name? McCall. That was her name. Let me just type that in. That was um, Saul's um, daughter. All right. Let me see. I believe it is Samuel. Let me see. Boom. Second Samuel 6, the sixth chapter. And this is after King David got the Ark of the Covenant back, man. Okay. Now, Second Samuel 6 chapter, we're going to start at verse 14. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And, and as the ark of the Lord came unto the city of David, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. She got jealous, mad, upset, okay, emotional. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set in its place in the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And as soon as David had made an end of offering burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. And he dealt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel, as well as the, to the women as men, to everyone a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. So all people departed everyone into his house. Then David returned to bless his house. So he came to bless his house after returning, um, after getting the Ark of the Covenant back. He was dancing, everyone rejoicing, having a great time. So he, he, he finally got home, right? Then David returned to bless his household, and McCall, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David. She, like, literally, once he, she knew he was coming, she ran to meet him. And what did she say? And said, how glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids, which were women, of his servants as one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovered himself. So she was jealous that, you know, he was leaping and dancing, having a good time, and other women was around, you know? And David said to McCall, it was before the Lord, okay? It was before Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which chose me before thy father and before all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore, will I play, to, play before the Lord. And I will yet be more vile than thus and will be base in mine own sight. And of the many servants which thou hast spoken of, of them shall I be had in honor. So those same women you, you jealous about, I'm going to take them in now. They're going to be my woman, okay? <laughs> I'm going to replace them. I'm going to replace you with them. All right. Therefore, McCall, the daughter of Saul, had no child until the day of her death. And that was a shame back then for a woman to die without bearing any children. So what does that mean? King David stopped popping and he stopped dealing with her, man. All right. But she still belonged to King David, according to the law. So she could not go and find another man. Or they, they, they would have got put to death for the act of adultery. OK, that is a true man right there, man. She disrespected him, yelled at him. Because remember, it had an exclamation point right there when she said shame. She uncovered himself. She yelled at him, man. Got out of place. She forgot she's speaking to the king of Israel. She, first off, she forgot she's speaking to her husband, her lord. Okay? So, he stopped dealing with her. So, that's the true man right there. All right? King David was a man. All right? A warrior. All right? A prophet. All right? A man of the Lord. And that's what we got to be in these last days, man. All right? You got to put your woman in her place. I'm not, you know, I'm not um, in none of your brother's business. You know, whatever you got going on, that's, you know, between you and your woman. All right. But um, as a man, though, you know, we, we put these women in their place, you know, straight up. You know, when they say something, that's, oh, we put them in their place, man. Let them know the real. All right. I'm the man. I lead. You follow. If you don't want to follow, you can go. You go on. You know, <laughs> you can fuck. You know where the door is at, man. OK. So. And like I was saying, man, we, we here to serve the Lord. So um, some more prayers I want to get through the spirit. Cause remember, I, I also mentioned um, we got to be unmovable in our belief. So. We got to stand firm, all right? Because, you know, persecution going to come and grab brothers up, whatever. We got to stand firm in our faith and our belief, what we, what we believe in, man. All right? I think I have some bookmark. Let me see. Yeah, this was a good one, too. First Maccabees 2 and verse 64. Wherefore, my sons, be valiant 
and shew yourselves men in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. You see that? Showing yourself to be a true man of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Be willing to die for his law's sakes. Be willing to die for your Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Be willing to die for your faith. Standing firm, being unmovable, you will obtain glory, man. True glory. All right? That's what we that's what we're on this earth to serve the Lord, man. Like the title of the lesson is, we must stand manfully and remain unmovable in these last days. That's another piece I want to get. The book of um, Ezra's. Okay. Uh, what was it? The 10th chapter, I think. Let me see. Bear with me. Yeah, yeah. Second Ezra's 10. And what's that verse? Uh, hmm. And he's having a conversation with the um, Archangel Uriel. You're right, Yahweh. Uh, twenty nine. And in as and as I was speaking these words, behold, he came unto me and looked upon me, and lo, I lay as one that had been dead, and my understanding was taken from me. And he took me by the right hand and comforted me and set me upon my feet, and said unto me, he set him upon his feet. All right, because you know he was getting low in the spirit, Ezra, of, of um, my forefather, the prophet, you know, the priest, the scribe, right? And he said unto me, What aileth thee? And why art thou so disquieted? You know, why are you so upset? You know, why are you so down? And why is thy understanding trembled in the thoughts of thine heart? And I'm, that's already earlier too. Let go from that, that weak nature, man. Put away them heavy thoughts that you go through. Because as men in society, being in such a, you know, um, a low level right now, having enemies over us, this society is abominable and wicked. We have these thoughts sometimes. We're like, damn, man, like, shit. Some brothers may, you know, um, have, you know, I don't know, man, have a tr hard time, you know, getting a woman, whatever the case may be. I don't know, because these women, they're, they're hoes anyway. But in any event, um, some brother may be burning, man. Who knows, man? But that's 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 your battle right there, all right? Because what you're going to get, you can't really imagine it, man. They're going to come, shit, they're going to come running, running you down like them, um, the Beatle fans. The woman that was running down the Beatles, they're going to be running you down like that, brother. So, hey, endure, all right? But, uh... Yeah, you may have them heavy thoughts like, damn, I ain't, you know, I suck. You know, don't don't ever think low of yourself, man. I mean, understand that you're a wretched man. Understand that you're in a sinful flesh. But don't ever be like, man, I, you know, like, just think, you know, think as far as like, yo, I'm a, I'm, the Lord bless me, man. I have wisdom, I have understanding, I have knowledge. Okay? Now, don't, don't become proud. Don't think too highly of yourself because we ain't shit. All right? Remember that. We ain't shit. But... As far as, you know, in this world, understand why you're at the position you're in right now and what is the main way to get out the position is serving the Lord, man. All right, because we're in the last days. All hope is about to break loose. Let's read on. And I said, because thou hast forsaken me, and yet I did according to thy words and went into the field, and, and, and lo, I have seen and yet see that I am not able to express. And he said unto me, this was the archangel Uriel said unto him, and he said unto me, stand up manfully, and I will advise thee. Then I said, speak on, my Lord. And me, only forsake me not, lest I die frustrate of my hope, man. So that was the point. The angel told him to stand up manfully, man. Okay? And what did the Lord uh, tell Job? Okay, Job 38 and 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man. It says, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. All right? Gird up thy loins like a man. Be a man. All right. The Lord is dealing with men. All right. You can't be effeminate. Feminine is not making it to the king. That's in the scriptures. All right. Nor effeminate. Let me get that. It's first Corinthians six and nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. All right. That's what the society promotes you to be. They want you to be effeminate, man. Weak. They want you to be like a woman. All right. No abuse of self of mankind, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, or extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And such were some of you. Now, in the world, some of us were feminists, man. You know, women, you know, just wanted to please women, put them on a the pedestal, chasing them, commenting every every picture, liking all the pictures and shit, you know, hard eyes, you know. Some brothers was in, was doing that. All right. It says, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, and ye are, but ye are saints, but now we're changed, we're washed, we're cleansed, man. Now we, our minds are. Our brains are truly washed. All right. The true definition of brainwashed. All right. We're cleansed, man. All right. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai and by the spirit of our power, man. All right. So we've been changed, man. So now we have to stand manfully and be um, um, uh, unmovable in our belief. Man. Let's get the last precept. First Corinthians 15, verse 30, 
Not 30 for D. 7. But thanks be to Yahweh, which gives us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. This is what we're supposed to be abounding in, man, the work of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, our labors are not in vain. He's going to glitter give us a great, great reward. I actually got another one. Hebrews 6 and 13. And it reads, no, 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 6 and 10. It says, for the heavenly father, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire to every one of you do to shew the same, do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So endure unto the end, keep showing diligence, doing his work. This which you sh uh, should be chasing, man. Stand manfully, endure, and there's a crown laid up for you, brother. All right, do not forget it. So be a man. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give Kolaim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechak Udash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salute. Hasty elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Wow, Baba Ball. Shalom.